Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And this is my buddy Puccini. He uh, keeps me company in the craft room. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we have kind of a fun Christmas card for you in non-traditional Christmas colors. And I think you're going to like it, so let's just get started. Here is my card. And it's using several different stamp sets, although you could choose to use just one and take all of the pieces off of it. Um, what I ended up doing was um, I had gotten this paper and I hadn't used it yet. And this is what it is. It is this iridescent snowflake pattern on a heavy vellum. And it's got a couple of different patterns here. Let's see if I can show them to you quickly. Um, it's got the snowflake pattern that's on top, which is the one I'm using in this card. And then it's got this other one, which is just a different pattern. And then it's got this polka dot pattern. <clears throat> I guess maybe I'd just better take these out because I'm not having very good luck here. So there is this pattern, this pattern, and then this polka dotted pattern. And I believe that there is one of each of these sheets in this package uh, that are the iridescent. And then there is the same pattern in a flocked white paper that is the different snowflake patterns and then this white like falling snowflake pattern. So there's six sheets in this um, package and I'm using this one and this one. So let me show you what I did and what you need to do this card. I got a little schizophrenic using different stamp sets, but it's really unnecessary if you just pick one and go with it. What you need is a, I used a balmy blue base that is eight and a half by five and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. And then I cut three quarters of an inch. Is that right? No, it's five eighths. Yep, I think I cut five eighths of an inch off of this end here so that my card um, still has the opportunity to stand even like this because I did it landscape rather than a portrait look. All right, then you need a piece of this paper or whatever paper, whichever pattern you like. And this piece is cut three inches by five and a quarter and it's meant to be three inches on purpose so that I can get more pieces out of a sheet of paper. Then I cut a one inch strip by five and a quarter of the snowflake or the snow falling pattern. And I cut a quarter of an inch off of it. And that quarter of an inch is going to go right on the front of this and pick up this pattern in the background. This piece is going to go on the inside of the card. I kind of like the blue showing through on this. Um, I think it's a really pretty color combination. Then you need a piece for the inside, and that's this piece for your greeting. And this is five and a quarter by three and a quarter, and sits butted right up next to this piece of vellum paper for the inside of the card. Then um, I use this other little quarter inch strip to match and go right here on the front of this. Then you need two pieces of scrap and I used um, this piece of scrap and I used from the Sending Smiles um, stamp set this sending because I thought it would be kind of fun to have sending Christmas wishes and um, it's it's pretty important and I put my tape right across to hang on to that little uh, dot that dots the eye there and then you need a small piece of scrap 
to do the backing. It kind of got lost on the paper if I did it without the backing. So I went ahead and did the backing. So you just need a piece of scrap big enough to cut out the backing piece. And I just left mine on here so you could see. And there's my piece already cut out. And then here is my sending. And what we're going to do is set that right on here. And then we're going to hang on to this little eye so we can dot that eye. But that's, that's what it is. Then you need one additional piece of scrap. And this piece is, I think, two and a half by three quarters. And that's to do your Christmas wishes. And so this came out of sending the Sending Smiles. This piece came out of, of the Lights Aglow, wishing you a season of hope and light. And then this piece here was Christmas wishes, or you could say season's greetings, to come out of this Boughs of Holly one. So like I said, I got a little schizophrenic here, but chances are you may have some of these in your stash or something similar that you might be able to use. And then I used Balmy Blue ink on this project. And it's really a very fast and simple card. And we'll just go ahead and put it together. I used seal on the back of my paper here. And honestly, it doesn't show through at all. So I just went ahead and put my seal on it. And I set that so that I could center it at the top of my card just like that and then I took my quarter inch piece that I cut off of the um, this piece and I'm going to try putting dot runner on that one and see how it does just because it's a little easier to use on small pieces but I want to make sure I get plenty on there Okay, so this piece is going to set up right along this edge with a very small blue border on the edge, matching up with the margins on this piece. All right, now then this piece, I'm going to use my seal because it's a little bit bigger, and I just put some seal down on a couple of places here and then set that to fit on the inside of my card with a similar border around three of the sides. Just like that. Then we can set this piece of, well, we can do our stamping next. So uh, let's do our stamping. So I've got my balmy blue ink here and my Christmas wishes. And I'm gonna do that one first. It's photopolymer on this one, so I'd like to have a cushion underneath. And on this one, I'm going to center that on this little piece of paper here. And you can always set this up in your Stamparatus if you're a little uncomfortable stamping on such a small piece of paper. Uh, but with photopolymer, where you can see through, it's a little bit easier. There's my Christmas wishes. And then here on this one, I'm going to put wishing you a season of hope and light. And so right here, no need to worry about straight. Angle it just a bit. Didn't need the cushion under that. But there I've got my wishing you sentiment on there as well. Now... This piece is ready to go on the inside of my card. So I'm going to set it up with a little bit of seal here and get that ready to go. And set that up so that it butts right up against this piece of specialty paper and it has the same margins and that should fit nicely on the card and there is the inside of our card completed. Now on the outside all we have left to do is put these pieces on. 
So I'm going to add this piece with a few dimensionals. And we're going to add this piece right down here on the bottom, up about a quarter of an inch and in just a smidge. There we go. All right. Now then, all we have to do is put these two pieces together and dot our eye. And what I used on this one is I used some Tombow so that I could um, put down a little bit of glue in just some of these places on the back of this. It's such a thin little thing that I thought it might be better. So I put a little dot of glue here and then used it to pick up little bits of glue and put them around my letters. And I used my tweezers to pick this up and put it in place on my backing. And because I used Tombow, I can really just set it down and then kind of wiggle it into place because it's the liquid glue and gives you that extra minute to get that on there just the way you want it. And there we go. I'm pretty comfortable with that. And that's ready to go. Now, how I got my little eye um, I, I made sure that my tape went across it so I wouldn't lose that eye. And I used my pick tool, I have the wrong end on this one here, and I just popped that little eye out and then turned it over here. Then I used the end of my pick tool, pick it up, and drop a little bead of glue right on that eye. In fact, that's probably too much. So I'll take some of that off. And then put my eye into place right here on my word. And again, because it's Tombow, I can move it around until it really looks like something dotting an eye. So now I've got my sending. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of um, dimensionals to the back of this piece, get this ready to go on my card. Right, this is ready now to go on the front of my card. So I wanted to set that at just a little bit of an angle. And there is my sending Christmas wishes. And then I know that this material is plenty blingy, but I did decide to add a couple of basic rhinestones to it. And so I've got some rhinestones and I used some of the larger rhinestones to add to this. And I put them in the middle of some of these stars and snowflakes. And well, let's see, it'll work for that one. And then I'm just going to put a separate one here. And I just added three because this has already got so much sparkle and shine. So there we go. That is my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, well, I'd love to be your demonstrator. 
um, and my contact information is always listed just below the video um, so that uh, if you have questions or um, you're having trouble with something, I encourage my customers to please give me a call and let me help you resolve whatever your issue is. And we get, um, I'd say, pretty much 100% of the issues dealt with. <laughs> so that is it for me. Uh, let's see. I do a monthly drawing for people who order through me. And if you order through me, uh, an order of any size puts you in my drawing. You can order on my store, lbedinger.stampinup.net. And uh, an order of any size puts you in the drawing for a $60 shopping spree on me. So uh, that's it for me. And I will be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye!